Merry Christmas everybody and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle video. It's Collector Kel once again and this time we have a Christmas theme team. Now I took a bit of break from recording because I had recorded about a week's worth of videos so I'm like okay you know what time to record again. I've been working on some teams. Also, I came across a shiny Pokemon that was perfect for this team, and no, it cannot be the two Paradox Pokemon you see, because I have Scarlet, I own Violet too. As you guys know, I was playing the surprise lock on it, but I can't trade over because I only have one switch, so it's not like I can technically shiny hunt for those. Well, I can, but not until home comes out. Like, I won't be able to use them, unless I do Wi-Fi battles over there, which I don't feel like training up every Pokemon again. But anyways, we have a Christmas themed team. But before we get into this, um, we are only, as I'm recording this video, which will probably be the case by the time Christmas hits, is we're only two subscribers away from the Holucha giveaway. And then the next giveaway is actually gonna be a shiny Kilowattrel, and then the shiny after that will be a shiny Oinkalone. Yes, and I don't mean the ones that I used in the Wi-Fi battles. I mean, I have other ones. And just a tip for all those people who actually want the shiny Pokemon, unlike a lot of giveaways, like certain YouTubers that we all know, or certain Twitch streamers, all these shiny Pokemon are legit. They're caught in the wild, they're given items that I've paid for in the game, you know, not with real money, but with like in-game money, duh. And stuff like that. So you won't get like Master Balls, but you'll get like Bottle Caps and stuff like that. But anyways, going over the team, this team's kind of hit or miss when it, terms, it comes to the whole Christmas theme, because there aren't a lot of Christmas-themed Pokemon. I could've used Obama Snow, but if I'm gonna have that many Pokemon weak to fire, I might as well have one that's not super slow. So we have Star, the Choice Banded Luxray. It has Intimidate to lower attack stat. It's max attack and speed. Most of these are max attack, except for um, Delibird and... Uh, Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle being max special attack and speed, and Deli for kind of being a hybrid. But Crunch, Wild Charge, Ice Fang, and Player Up just to take use of the uh, Choice Band. This Pokemon, it is a starting, like an early game Pokemon in every game that it's in, so it's not super strong. We have Christmas Tree with the Mirror Herb, so if they set up on us, we copy them, which is kind of cool. Uh, we have Toxic Spikes, generally that's what we'll go for, but we have Brick Break to break screens just in case we have run into a few of those. We have Foul Play to hit those, you know, heavy hitting Pokemon, and we have Trail Blaze to gain some speed but also have some stab. And it has Sand Veil, but his abilities aren't really the most useful. And I was looking them over and they're just really not, they're not, they're not good for this team. We have Santa Claus with the Muscle Band to power up his physical moves. He is a Deli Bird with Vital Spirit. I was thinking Hustle, but then I'm like, I missed way too much with it, so it's kind of bad. He is Grass type, so or like Grass Terra type, so he'll probably be the Pokemon that we terra uh, terrestrialize. But he has Terra Blast, Drill Peck, Ice Punch, and Ice Beam. Ice Punch to hit those that are more specially defensive but weak to Ice, and then Ice Beam to hit the physically defensive ones that are weak to Ice. We have Toy Tyranitar, the Iron Thorns. I thought this was perfect. It has the booster energy, Earthquake, Dragon Dance, Stone Edge, Wild Charge, and obviously Quark Drive. It's meant to set up Dragon Dance and then just sweep, hopefully, or at least until it goes down. It's not the fastest, and it's not as physically offensive as Tyranitar, but it gets the job done. And then we have Cupid, the Sawsbuck. Now, if you're wondering why it's named Cupid and not like Dasher, Prancer, Donner, Blitzen, you know, stuff like that. It's because it's a female. It's also shiny, which I found on the way to a raid one day, and it was like, oh, okay, that little um, deerling has a pink flower and not a yellow flower, and lo and behold, it was a shiny. It has Life Orb, it has Trailblaze, Body Slam, Horn Leech, Sword Stance, and Sap Sipper, so it can switch into the grass type moves, which will be good because we do have a few Pokemon weak to grass. But the whole point, like, I'm, I'm kind of debating. If this team does bad, I'm going to change Body Slam out for Play Rough just to have a different type move. Horn Leech I like because it restores our HP, and Trail Blaze is for speed. Body Slam is one of the highest normal type attacks that don't have recoil that he can learn to make use of his stab, and he is normal uh, Terra, so... 
Then we got Steel Sack, Choice Specs, the Iron Bundle, Cork Drive, obviously that's not going to come into play. Terra Blast, Ice Beam, Freeze Dry, and Hydro Pump literally only has two ty a type attacks, but still it's like a truck. So anyways, I'll see you guys when we find a battle and I apologize for the really long intro this time. Alright, we have a battle against Lucky, Lucy, Luchi, I'm not entirely sure, it could be a completely different part of the world. He has Rev of Room, Dragonite, Iron Bundle, Skeledurge, Clodsire, and Zorark. Zorark's most likely gonna turn into Clodsire, or into uh, Rev of Room to make use of the fact that it's Dark type, but it's mimicking as a Poison type. So, we're gonna lead off with Mr. Poison. I think... Actually, I think Steel Sack might be our best bet for this. I was gonna lead off with Toy Tyranitar, but I don't think that's actually gonna work out. And why I say that is because Claude Sire is most likely unaware. And I tried using Claude Sire in like doubles and stuff. It's not good. You think this bulky wall Pokemon would be just as good as its, you know, Johto form, but nah, or Johto counterpart. Oh, it's Iron Bundle! What are the chances? Iron Bundle Showdown! Oh, it's Water Ice type, though. That's gonna be a pain in the butt. I'm just gonna go for the Terra Blast and see if it switches out. I'm hoping it switches out, because then we can hit something hard. Regardless if, uh... Because I don't think it's gonna think that we're gonna hit it with a normal type attack. I'm just doing this just to weaken it. Also, Iron Bundle Shiny is one of my favorite shinies. But my issue is with the Violet Shiny pair- Oh, one for Freeze Dry. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. Oh, it's Life Orb. And I'm Choice Specs. Ugh. <laughs> Mine survives on 2 HP and is just like, come at me, bro. I just realized his little feet are like, ski are like you know, the the ski tread part of a Dragonite. Do you think it'll set up? I don't know if it'll set up or not. Go Christmas tree! Oh, and for extreme speed. Ow! Well, that blows. Well, Christmas Tree's dead. I knew he was gonna essentially be the dead weight of the team. But, yeah, we gotta break his, um... We gotta break his multi-skill, the thing that's multi-skill. I've been unlucky, and every, like, high-tier raid that I've done, they've been inner focus. I'm like, well, why are they not multi-skill? I've gotten the hidden abilities on Pokemon I don't want them on in raids that are way lower tier. Like, there was, um... Was it... I think it was this raid with Cacturn. He had his hidden ability. I think Sandvale's his hidden ability. Or is it Water Absorb? I wanted Water Absorb, but I can't get it unless he... Oh. I went for the Dragon Dance, huh? But watch this. This is gonna be funny. Yeah, go! That's funny, we just copied it. <laughs> it's boost, like, hey, how you doing? We can turn into ghost type. Do you think it'll go for... I don't, I don't want to risk it. If it goes for the extreme speed... Uh, go for another Dragon Dance, just just to be cocky. Come on, come on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do I have priority on any other Pokemon? I should have really gave a better Pokemon Mirror Herb. I should have gave, um... No, because I wanted to have the Quark Drive. Okay, so it has Extreme Speed and Dragon Dance. It most likely has, like, Dragon Claw. I doubt it'll carry Dragon Rush. <gasps> it did go for it! That's good. Come on, buddy, go! Oh, that did not do much. Do I have any priority? I don't have priority. Oh, 
Oh, I should have. I should have, um, terrestrialized. Okay, now we gotta think of how to defeat this. Okay, Toy Tyranitar, you got this, right, buddy? Go, buddy, go! Please don't have Earthquake. Please don't have Earthquake as your fourth move. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Nothing in this world matters, man. Oh! <gasps> what? How do we... What? How do we outspeed? It was plus two! I am so confused. How, how did we... How? He used Dragon Dance twice! If that was the case, then Cacturn should outspeed. Cacturn's speed is higher! You think this thing has Earthquake? Do you think this thing has Earthquake? Because if it has Earthquake, well then I'm just going to switch into my buddy. Like, I have Earthquake too, but... That thing's most likely got underwear, and sorry, there's... The skin on my arm is all weird. I hate winter sometimes. It was distracting me from this epic battle with Santa Claus. Go! Predicted? That was that was hilarious. Oh, we're grass type. I forgot about that. Let's go for the ice punch and just punch it in the teeth or um whatever Claude Sire has. Like, look at that little face. It's just like, hmm. I want to be here. I'm sad. Claude Sire is hands down one of the coolest evolutions they've given to a Pokemon that gets a new evolution outside of like its own gen. And it's just, it's so cool, like, like, the fact that it has these little spikes is because when you, people evolved it, they're like, oh, it's called the spiny fish Pokemon, that's weird, it doesn't have spines. And then the little circles on its back stick out spines, and it's just really cool. I don't know, I personally think that's a cool little touch that they've done. And this battle, this battle better go good, because this is the Christmas team, it's gotta have that Christmas matching, and that's a two-shot, really? Ah, we'll eat that. We may get poisoned in the process, but yeah. Yay! Punch him in the face. Pum pum punch him in the face. Pum 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 punch. God, I always forget that you guys can't hear the music I'm listening to because I always have the um, the music playing in my headset so I can tell what's going on. And there we go. Deli Bird just took down a tank. Good job, Deli Bird. Yep, Deli Bird put in work this game. Hell yeah. Oh yes. Oh, and it's shiny. I love Revavroom. Revavroom's shiny. I don't have anything to hit this though. Oh, and I'm useless. So I'm just going to let this guy die. I don't really care. He's he's done his job. He took down Claude Sire. Oh. Hmm. Thing is, though, if it goes for its steel type attack, it'll lower its speed drastically again. Okay, people in their setup Pokemon, I tell you, man, they're they're nutty. I can still freeze you. I wonder if Ice Beam will do more. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to change the natures of these Pokemon, by the way. They're not even the right nature. <laughs> oh my lord, I, I'm an idiot, but it's working out so flawlessly. But I don't know how to defeat this guy. Star, you can actually do something. Go! He's actually a plus attack nature. <laughs> Just minus special defense, but this thing isn't special defense. We're steel type. Oh, wait a minute. If we're Steel-type... 
That might actually work out, because then he can't hit us with, um, poison. Because he's got Iron Head, which means he's most likely got, um... Oh. wonder what he's turning into. Okay, Rep of Room, let's see what you got. Oh... <laughs> this, this might go well for us. Let's do this, buddy, go! Devil Terrestrialize! This is like when you Dynamax in Sword and Shield, it would always be like that. Everyone Dynamaxes at the same time. It's like, oh, what a weird coincidence. This is the longest turn of my life. This is the longest video I've recorded outside of, like, the Let's Play part. Him being Steel-type worked out flawlessly. Go! Choice Band! <laughs> Predicted! I forgot to change the natures of these darn Pokemon, and they're working out better than if they were probably the right one. But like I said, unless this guy gets hit by a special move, it really honestly doesn't matter. Wait, Zoroark isn't... You didn't disguise your Zor... You put your Zoroark in as the last Pokemon, really? It's probably got Focus Blast or Flamethrower. Yeah, it's got Flamethrower. I think I'll die to that because like I said, I am a minus special defense nature. Which does suck. Goodbye, little pal. Now, you are the right nature, though, so do you think Steel Sack can beat this? Go! You think you can- Oh, I had Freeze Dry this entire time, why didn't I use that? I'm an idiot. I think we have a higher base speed than- Because there are two Pokemon that are completely perfect, and that would be Sawsbook and Iron Bundle. Because for whatever reason, I decided to record before finishing, because I seen the time, and it's like, it's already 11.30, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to keep waiting all day to record. I got like seven videos to record. I don't want to spend an eternity. And yeah, I forgot to nature change them. I'm going to do that after this video, just so when I put them back into my box, they're done. I don't want to mix the wrong Pokemon in, because I also have um, a VGC strategy I want to try out for you guys, and stuff like that. Which should be fun, it's a dancer team. I was telling people on Discord about that. Also, yeah, if you guys wanna... So, the goal for the, um... Oh, it actually survived a Choice Specs Ice Beam, okay. Hmm, <clears throat> okay, so it's got knockoff. You think Toy Tyranitar? Toy Tyranitar, I believe, also has... Is he the right nature? No, I wanted to check your summary. I clicked it down. No, he's minus... He's plus special attack, minus special defense. So I can't risk, um... I can't risk anything. They are EV trained, and they are, um, bottle capped. I forgot the natures. Because I was, like, too busy setting up my computer and was like, Oh, it's got night days. That shouldn't kill me. But it will lower my accuracy. See, it didn't even lower my accuracy, okay. There goes Zoroark. Wasn't his last Pokemon- No, he's already used his two poison types, Rev of Room and Clodsire, and sorry for the voice crack. Oh, it's Skeledurge, probably shiny. No. Oh, if we don't defeat this in this one hit, we're screwed. Oh, thank god. No, it lived! Uh, we have an issue. I repeat, we have an issue. Our last Pokemon is Sawsbuck. Oh, it's got Lefto. Oh, it's bulky! Of course it is. I know why, because everyone makes it bulky, unaware, with, um, yeah. You, though, on the other hand, are the right nature, so... Go, Cupid, go! Alright, buddy. Has no effect. I just gotta try. That does no damage! We're gonna lose! It's not a Christmas miracle! And like that we failed. If only I had the right natures, we could've won. I'm an idiot. Oh! 
well. <clears throat> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like on the video, check out the playlist for all the videos, because there's a few videos that don't seem to get as many views. Like, I know a lot of the viewers that watch are, um, not subscribed. Like I've said, I do have the, the constant viewers, which I am grateful for, obviously. Connect with... Why, Why was it saying that? I backed up... Anyways, like I was saying, a lot of you aren't subscribed, and, and that's fine. You guys stop by to check out the content, as long as you constantly check it out every now and then, I do appreciate it. Um, you guys have been leaving quite a few likes. And the next giveaway is a Shiny Kilowatt Roll. With the ability Volt Absorb, which you can actually change it to Wind Power. I believe Wind Power is it. Yeah, Wind Power is its other non hidden ability. And it is a phenomenal Pokemon. It's super fast. You can take. You, you can make such a great use of Electro Ball and everything. And yeah, I appreciate you guys. Have a Merry Christmas. And I will see you guys all after the holidays for another exciting Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi Fi battle video. Or maybe even a team building one. You never know.